Hello Grade 11s. Today we are going to explore the properties of exterior angles in cyclic quadrilaterals. In a previous theorem, we learned that in any cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite interior angles are supplementary. We can use this theorem to deduce the size of an exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. In cyclic quad A, B, C, D, B, C has been extended to point Q, creating an exterior angle. If we let angle A be X, we then know that angle DCB will be 180 degrees minus X. But because BCQ is a straight line, the exterior angle at C must be X. So we can say that the exterior angle of a cyclic quad is equal to the opposite interior angle. This result can be used in proofs and the reason given would be exterior angle cyclic quad. We will not always be given the numerical values for the angles. The size of the angles will, for example, be given in terms of x or y. This type of question will now be dealt with by John and Kanya. Kanya, how are you? Hello, Donny. I'm very well, thanks. Going over the theorems one by one and working through exam problems with you has helped me a lot. I'm really getting the hang of it. Good. That's our aim. Let's see if you can apply the theorems to today's problems. It has three sections. Let's start off by looking at the given. In the diagram, points R, P, A, and Q, and T lie on a circle. RA bisects angle R, and AB equals AQ. RA and TQ produced meet at B. What does produced mean? Produced just means the lines are extended to meet at B. So RA and TQ produced meet at B. You are required to prove three things. That AQ bisects angle PQB. TR equals TB. And angle P equals angle TRP. First, have a good look at the diagram and the given information. You should notice a few things immediately that will be useful to you, Kanya. Um, let me see. Well, PRTQ is a cyclic quadrilateral. That's right. I spot another one. Oh, yes. RAQT is also a cyclic quadrilateral. Yes. And what does it mean that RA bisects angle R? It means that angle R1 equals angle R2. Let's show these on the diagram. R1 equals R2. AB equals AQ is marked already and should make you think of an isosceles triangle. Of course. With equal base angles at Q3 and B. Yes. The last bit of given information is that RA and TQ produced meet at B. This just describes a part of the diagram, but it also reminds you of several triangles in the diagram that might be useful. In the first part of the question, we must prove that AQ bisects angle PQB. In other words, we must show that angle Q2 equals angle Q3. You could start with one of these angles and try to find any other angles that are equal to it. You can also start at the given equal angles, R1 and R2. It is a good idea to mark the equal angles on your diagram in some way. This helps you to see how to find the steps between the given angles and the ones you want to show to be equal. What angles would you mark as equal on this diagram? I'll give you a hint. Look at angle Q2 and angle Q3 in relation to angle R1 and R2. Angle Q2 plus angle Q3 is the exterior angle of the cyclic quad RPQT. So it is equal to the interior opposite angle, which is R1 plus R2. Correct. Q2 and R2 are angles in the same segment. 
both subtended by arc PA. When you mark these equal angles on the diagram, it makes it clear that Q3 must be equal to Q2. We have R1 plus R2 equal to Q2 plus Q3. But R1, R2, and Q2 are all equal. So Q3 must also be equal to these angles. Now we just need to make sure that we write down the steps of the proof in a logical order and with reasons. Does it matter in which order we write it down? There is not one correct order to use, but the order used must make sense. One fact must lead to the next fact. Here is one way of doing it. Start with the given information. R1 equals R2. Now use R2 equal to Q2 because they are angles in the same segment. Look at the diagram before continuing. R1 plus R2 equals Q2 plus Q3 because they are external angle of the cyclic quad RPAQ. What does that tell us? R1 equals Q3. So does R2. Correct. But we are only interested in using R1 at this point in the proof. So Q3 must be equal to Q2. What does that tell us about AQ? AQ by six angle PQB. Correct. We've completed the first part of the question. Let's tackle question 1.2. We must prove that TR equals TB. Use a colored pencil on these two lines. You see immediately they are part of triangle BTR. If we can get the angles B and R1 equal, then the sides will be equal because the triangle is isosceles. Can you see how to do this, can you? Use what you know from the previous question. We've proved that angle Q3 equals angle R1. Yes. Using the sides given equal in triangle ABQ, we can also say that Q3 equals B, isosceles triangle. That leads to the next step, that angle B equals angle R1. That means that triangle RTB is isosceles and TR equals TB. Problem solved. Yes. Now keep in mind what has been proved so far. These facts will help towards solving the third part of the question that asks, prove that the angle at P equals the whole angle at R. Here are the angles P and TRP on the diagram. How can we prove that they are equal? Let me start you off with a hint. Look for an angle that is equal to angle P. Oh yes, of course. Angle A1 and angle P are angles in the same segment subtended by arc RQ, so they are equal. Very good. Now look at triangle ABQ. A1 is an exterior angle of this triangle, and so it equals the sum of the interior opposite angles. That means that A1 equals Q3 plus B. Yes. It follows that P also equals Q3 plus B. But we've already proved that Q3 equals B because triangle ABQ is isosceles. And Q3 equals R1 equals R2. And so we can say that angle P equals angle TRP. Now we are ready to write down the proof. That's a tricky part. I'll take you through it step by step. A1 equals P, angles in the same segment. A1 also equals Q3 plus B, exterior angle of triangle. Therefore, P equals Q3 plus B. But Q3 equals B because... They are equal angles of the isosceles triangle. Yes. Now we have already proved that Q3 equals Q2. So P equals Q3 plus Q2. We have already proved that Q3 equals R1 and it equals to R2. 
So we can say that P equals R1 plus R2. So angle P equals angle TRP. That's what we wanted to prove. Yes. In thinking about this question, we started at one of the angles in the question, angle P, and moved to another angle equal to it. Then we made links to what we had proved already about the angles at B, Q, and R. Sometimes when you think about the problem, you need to move from one end of the problem to the other until you see all the steps needed. Just remember then to write down the steps in the correct order for the proof to make sense from beginning to end. John gave us some good hints on how to solve these more difficult questions. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You will also be able to learn more about circle geometry on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s.